because all of this subconsciously your your boss may not even know that he or she is doing this but it subconsciously affects their decisions and how they interact with you <laughs> Welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back I'm Buife Nome and in this video I want to quickly share five important things you need to keep in mind every time you give your presentations at work one be brief your colleagues and bosses have a lot of other important things to do so you want to keep your presentations as brief and straight to the point as possible two Give them what they want or need to know. In the workplace, information passes around as fast as possible and people need this information to do their work. Your bosses need them to make the next important decision. You want to be sure that you know what it is they want to hear or want to know and include that in the short time that you have to present to them. Three, think about your confidence level. Your confidence goes a long way in determining if your idea is going to be appreciated or taken up. The manner in which you communicate always says more than the actual words that you use. In fact, there's a research that shows that the words you speak make up just 7% of your communication. 38% has to do with your tone of voice and your tone of voice is more powerful when you have confidence in yourself so always watch your confidence level if you need to get in front of a mirror and psych yourself up I, I have an ebook where I share some affirmations for confidence speaking if you need that click the link in the description below and download that use that affirmation to psych yourself up and get into your work presentations with confidence because it can affect your outcome. The fourth thing is to have the right perspective when it comes to rejections. At work, there are many brilliant people that you work with. These brilliant people also have their own ideas. So sometimes your ideas may not be taken up, but that's okay. Understand that there's a difference between rejection of your ideas and rejection of you. So you always want to have this perspective that even though my idea has been rejected, I have not been rejected. I am still a valuable member of this team. Why is this important? When you understand that your team members or boss rejecting your idea doesn't mean that they are rejecting you. You are able to bring up better ideas in the future. You're able to go back to ask yourself what went wrong, what was the problem, or you could even ask your team members or your colleagues or your bosses, what is it that you want to hear? What it did, what, what it is that we could do better? How it was it my idea? Was it the way that I, that I presented it? Was it time? Maybe it's not the right time for us to do this. So you always want to have that perspective that you and your ideas are different entities. You are good enough. You're always good enough. Always know that. And if you came up with a good idea that was rejected, you can still come up with a better idea. Five, look the part. I mentioned having confidence before and the way that you look contributes to how confident you feel. In fact, studies have shown that if you look good, you feel good. But more than how you feel about yourself, the way that you look also impacts how others see you. You want to be sure that your appearance aligns with what you're saying. If you want your boss, for instance, to take your ideas seriously, you want to show up looking like someone who takes him or herself seriously. Look the part, dress well, make sure you are well groomed because all of these subconsciously, your, your boss may not even know that he or she is doing this, but it subconsciously affects their decisions and how they interact with you. Therefore, you want to make sure that you look the part. Bonus tip, because we work in a hybrid environment these days, most of our presentations are virtual. This means that you get to give more presentations on camera. If at your workplace you have to turn on your video camera, what my tip is to 
look into the lens of your computer or phone, whichever device it is that you're using to give that presentation. Now, even if they don't ask that you turn on your camera, if you're giving a very important presentation, it is best to turn on your video camera. Remember that research that I talked about earlier? It says that 38% of your of your communication has to do with your tone of voice and the remaining 55 percent has to do with your body language so if you don't have your camera on you're losing out on 55 percent of the elements that make your communication more effective so even if it is not a must to do that as much as possible turn your camera on when you're giving an important presentation and look into the lens because when you look into the lens it's a way of maintaining eye contact even though you are not in the same room as your audience which is your boss or your colleagues i hope you found these tips helpful if you did please tell me in the comments like this video and share it with your colleagues and your friends my name is buife nome i help working professionals like you take their presentations from boring to brilliant if you'd like to work with me do send me a mail to buifenome at gmail.com i'm on social media as buifenome and you can also check out my website at www.buifenome.com thank you and have a wonderful time